stay single until you meet somebody like this. Well, not exactly like this, but what I'm saying is you want to find somebody who is spiritually aligned with yourself. Now, how do you actually determine who is spiritually aligned with yourself? What is a spiritual alignment? Because when you do find this person, everything will be exactly the way it's supposed to be. But the biggest problem I see a lot of the time is that a lot of people out there, they have what they call their model of the world, how they think their um their values lie where they feel that you know this is the exact criteria that i'm looking for right now but how many of you have ever had this before when you think that you want a certain type of person to be in your life and you meet that certain type of person and then there's so many other things involved that you didn't ask for and you're thinking wow you know why on earth did i attract this person and why was i not more specific with what i was trying to manifest out there and the biggest problem is is because a lot of the time we have what we call our model of the world but the biggest problem is our model of the world how we see the world should be right how we see that our wife should be our future partner should be uh, our living partner should be and the biggest problem to that is that our model of the world how we think it should be is usually not our model of the world it usually is somebody else's model of the world it's usually through our upbringing through society through our parents through all of this um, the mindset that has been created from other people around us has determined how we think our model of world should be. And that's why a lot of the time when we meet that model of the world, we think, oh, well, actually, I want something else. You know, this isn't what I was looking for. And the biggest problem is because in that gut, and this is what we talk about a lot, you know, in that gut feeling or that good feeling or even that God feeling, right, is when we know we are spiritually aligned with our purpose and what we are looking for and everything is supposed to happen that way. Now, the biggest problem to that is that we have our gut and we have our mind. And a lot of the time we end up, our mind starts processing and thinking, this is right, this is wrong, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I'm not. And, but our mind is determined by our upbringing, by people around us. So it's not actually our mind, right? The only thing, first of all, with finding someone um, to love, finding someone as a loving partner, we need to first find ourselves and find our true alignment and then start finding their alignment to align with this thing. So um, towards the end of this video, I'm going to get on to exactly how to do that. Okay. Now, first of all, is to understand this. So if our mind is processing other people's information, what other people want and what other people don't want, right? And so in our mind, we will have, for example, in the past, I would say um, my, my, the living partner that I'm looking for needs to know how to cook or needs to know how to um, iron clothes or, 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 or clean the house. And the reason behind that is not because that is my alignment or that is what I'm actually looking for, but this is what my upbringing taught me right? Through watching mom and through watching dad. And this is how the relationship was. So I believed that that's exactly what I'm looking for, right? But in actual fact, we need to start figuring our own alignment out first. And how we do that is to first block out the mind. So we first block out the mind and then, and then we start understanding and take a deep breath in and out. And I always say you can feel when, when, when you feel that chi, right? Bring the energy up and then back down. When you feel that chi grounded and settled here, this is your most perfect part to start making these intuition decisions that are not actually based on our thought, but based on our alignment with the universe and how things are supposed to be in our life. And so how we do this, we take the deep breath in and out. Now, after we've done that, what we need to really feel for is what, what is it that I'm looking for right now, right? So once you've took those breath in and deep uh, and, and breath out, what you want to do is you want to start really connecting with the universe and then start feeling what is it that you're looking for? Ask that question, throw it out there. What is it that I really need in my life right now? And the biggest thing and the most easiest way to look at this is what are your, what is your purpose? What is your goals? What is it that you're looking for right now? right? If it's happiness, if it's, you know, in your career right now, this is something you really, really want to focus on. If you feel this calling, this drive, right? What you want to do is that person you are looking for wants to be aligned with that vision, wants to be able to support that vision, wants to be able to 
allow and give you that space to shine. This is what you're looking for. And this will be perfect alignment to that time and place. Now, the biggest problem is this, right? The thing is, a lot of people, they don't end up staying single. And the reason why they don't stay single is because they sometimes people get lonely, sometimes people really want somebody to be there all the time, you know? But the biggest problem that most people don't realize is that, and this is the famous saying where they say, when your cup is full, stop pouring right? When your cup is full, it's very hard for new things or better things or great things to enter in your life. So if you keep that cup full and your mind occupied and your energy capacity occupied and full, it is very hard to let new energy in and start attracting the actual thing that you want in life. And so that's why it's very, very important to actually stay single until you meet someone like this. Now you're thinking, okay, someone like this, what is this person, right? I, I, I truly believe that first of all, love, right? When you wanna love somebody else, it starts from self-love. Start understanding yourself, start understanding your own frequency, start tuning into yourself and your vibrations. And when you are totally at peace, you are in that physical being, and that state of being, and when you can be in that state, then everything will naturally come into your life is supposed to be there, right? Now, one thing to understand is this though, everything in your life does not mean everything needs to come into your life and have to stay forever. Everything serves its purpose in time. Now, I know a lot of you will be thinking, what does that mean, Eric? Does that mean that, you know, people are going to come into, are you talking about having a lot of relationships with people come into your life, then leave your life, come into your life and leave your life? Well, understand one thing, right? Some people can be there to stay forever. In it, it, it exactly, you know, it, it relates exactly to how energy is. Energy is always moving. Energy likes to be moving. We are energy. So as long as we allow that energy just to flow within us and allow things to flow into our life, and if it needs to, at those moments in time, flow out of our life, then let it be. Because that is where nature and energy is most beautiful. And we are allowing that power of the universe to work its magic. And so what we wanna do is we don't wanna to think too much about the future. Don't think too much about, because by you thinking about the future, you can't control what you get in this moment. So instead of doing that, what you wanna do, you wanna just focus in this moment in time. What makes you happy? And when you find that person who makes you smile, that person, when you see them, it just, you don't know what it is, right? And they do not need to fit a certain criteria. There is no, oh, she needs to look a certain way. Oh, she needs to be a certain way. Oh, she needs to know this. She needs to know how to cook. She needs to know that. There is no criteria when you find and meet someone that someone like this. And this is what I call that perfect spiritual alignment. When you find somebody who just makes you happy. And you can't even explain why it is. And that feeling is just like, ooh, I don't know what it is. I just feel it's so easy. And life seems to be so easy. And everything I'm going towards right now, it's just, everything just aligns perfectly. And it's exactly the way it's supposed to be. But the biggest thing you need to learn first is to tune into yourself. Be the best version of yourself, right? Because life is purely a reflection of ourselves. So when we see a lot of things that we don't want in life, start focusing on self, correct yourself, and then start working on yourself, and then you'll see naturally the right people will come in alignment with you. And what you're looking for really, and until you find that, you wanna stay single. Keep that empty cup, right? And allow that space for this beautiful, beautiful, loving partner to enter into your life and come into your life and make your life the most happiest enjoyable, fulfilling life that you are destined for. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and make sure to hit the alert button as well so you get alerts on notifications. That's a little bell sign next to the subscribe button. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, give us some comments below if you have any thoughts around this topic or you would like me to cover anything else around these topics. Anyway, peace and love to you all. Ciao.